Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing really well. I feel like I haven't sat down and filmed a video like this for a couple of weeks so I thought um, and I was actually getting quite a few messages from people saying where are you? Are you okay? Are you going to be doing another YouTube video soon? So um, I've been putting all my sort of um, video efforts over to Patreon for the at the moment just because um, obviously it's, I find it a little bit easier to do videos on um, like tutorials like um, to break down how I sort of tackle different portraits, different areas and things like that. I find it a little bit um, easier to talk through what I'm kind of doing. So that's what I've been up to. Um, I hope you're doing really well. Um, I, as I said, I thought I'd come on here today because I felt like I hadn't done it for ages and um, I've been missing you guys. Um, so I hope you're all doing well and that things are looking a little bit brighter in your area um, we hopefully will have non-essential businesses back up and running in the next couple of weeks here which is really exciting for me because it means that my framers will hopefully come back um, which means that a lot of my work and a lot of my clients work and prints and stuff can go um, can get shipped finally because some things have been on hold for a little while um, some prints that I haven't been able to get mounted um, and I've had to wait for my actual framers to reopen so yeah hopefully things are going to go back to normal a little bit in the next couple of weeks um, but apart from that obviously it was a world mental health awareness week last week and um, I filmed a video uh, for you guys about how I was kind of dealing with that and um, it got a really nice response so thank you very much for being so supportive um, it's been a really interesting time for a lot of us and I know a lot of people have been really struggling um, as you can probably see I've been very very fortunate I've um, got a lot of sort of time I've been able to spend a lot of time in nature and I've been able to sort of get out and about and just be keeping myself as occupied and busy as possible um, hang on I'm just going to move you a sec um, I felt like my hand was very much in the way of what I was doing. Um, so, um, this morning I finished Dino and I've been working on um, Dino's portrait for probably a solid uh, like week, week and a half. So it was quite good and nice to get him finished. Um, so hopefully I'm going to send him off for approval uh, for his owner later. Um, and then it sort of allowed me a bit of time to be working on my this uh, this stag, uh, which is proving to be a bit of um, I can't decide whether I'm absolutely obsessed with it or whether I'm regretting this decision massively to draw him, um, just because he is a challenge for sure. Um, I never expected him to be as challenging as he has been. Um, don't get me wrong, I am thoroughly loving him, but he is a little bit of a stressful one because there's so many different textures and things going on in this portrait and in all honesty i don't really know what i'm doing it, so on my patreons i've had a lot of people saying to me oh can you please film a video of how you're creating the stack and i was like i would love to but um i'm a little bit apprehensive because i don't really know what i'm doing like I'm kind of just making up, I'm kind of feeling my way around this portrait very, very slowly, building it up very, very slowly and just hoping for the best, um, which it doesn't really give you an air of confidence, I know, but um, I'm just being real with you. Um, for my like equine and dog portraits, I'm a lot more confident in sort of like different textures and things like that. Whereas with this, I'm finding it a little bit, yeah, I'm having to sort of um, be a lot more precise and having to map out different areas and sort of just being very, very cautious about where I'm putting pencil marks and not going in and just being very, very like slapdash with it. I'm having to really, really think about my placement. Um, so it's taken me a little while and I think that's not really a bad thing um, but it is a little bit um, yeah it's just a little bit stressful um, I'm having to keep my pencils quite sharp and just kind of just um, it's taken a lot of my concentration to trying to work out where I need to be going with this um, I don't know whether you ever find that you know some things that you draw take up more um, of your sort of brain power than others but this is definitely one of them 
so me trying to talk and draw is uh, a little challenging, but it's fine. I'm gonna just gonna try and get a video done, have a little bit of a catch up with you all. Um, I'm having to keep like looking at it and going, oh yeah, okay, well, hopefully that'll be all right. And I can blend that a bit out and that'll be a bit fine and I keep this bit really light and it's just, yeah, it's a bit interesting one for sure. So, um, nothing in the past week has really happened. Um, it's been quite quiet. We had some building work being done on the house. Um, I say building work, um, decorating. It wasn't actually building work. Um, so I wasn't able to film for a few days. Um, I was gonna, I really wanna film like a sit down video and have a proper chat with you guys, but I don't, I've got so many different business, um, like video ideas and like, and business ideas and things like that, but it's just, it's hard to know what to film. And um, I've been struggling a little bit with anxiety and feeling a little bit like lacking confidence. So um, that's why I haven't really been able to put that much stuff online recently i've kind of just been hiding behind my um my instagram posts a little bit um i did a q a on instagram last week um which is always quite fun i really enjoy like chatting to everyone over on instagram um and so so people sent me over questions and um yeah i managed to answer them but i might do another one but um, because the problem that I've got with that doing it that way is obviously I'm li very limited to only having um like 10 15 seconds or however long um like a video story is but so I might try and film like a Q&A for YouTube because I should have um, I'll be able to go in depth and answer a lot more questions that way so I think I'll try and film that at some point I'll go back on to the gram and um ask for some more in-depth questions maybe if I'm feeling brave um but yeah as I said like obviously it's mental health awareness week and my anxiety has been all right I'm, I'm feeling a little bit weird today um but I think it's just like apprehension of like finishing work and not really knowing what's going on um in, in like society and things like that and just being a little bit um, I know everyone's feeling it, so I'm not gonna sort of come on here and be like, oh, I've been really struggling, because I haven't. Things are okay, things are really good. Um, I've been really, really happy, so it's just it's just one of those things, like sometimes things get a little bit too much and I kind of hermit myself a little bit. It doesn't help that I'm not really able to go to the gym at the moment. I say not really able, I really can't go to the gym, can I, because it's shut. Um, this guy, his fur is so hard. I'm not, I can't even pretend like I'm finding it easy. It's, really, it's giving me a headache. Um, I was funny the other day. I was working on this piece and um, just couldn't work on it for too long because I was just getting cross. I was going cross-eyed with all these like, spines and. It's fair. I'd actually love to know um, whether this bit was soft or not, like in real life, whether like how it felt. It's quite hard to um, draw this um, for it not to look um, like muddy. I think that's like the, the bit that I'm struggling with the most is trying to put enough pigment down without it looking just like, um, yeah, I think muddy is the only way I can kind of explain it.
takes so much of my concentration that's why I find it really hard to talk to you and do this piece at the same time but um, hopefully as like it goes as I move forward with it hopefully um, I'll be able to sort of do both and not feel like it's sapping all of my energy I think the hardest thing is knowing how to create something like this because it's just so unknown. I don't think I've ever drawn anything quite as. I mean, always yeah, that's a lie. I've did a hedgehog. Um, I've done a, a couple of hedgehogs over the years, but um, you kind of forget. <laughs> you kind of forget how the pencil layers down and how to. In and, and draw and then obviously some bits have to be super dark to make it look it's like 3D as possible but you don't want it to look stringy so yeah I'm kind of like fighting myself with this one a little bit but it's really fun he is like super enjoyable to draw and I can't really put the pencils down on this one which is a really nice feeling um, But yeah, I don't really have like any life updates, I don't think. Um, I'm just trying to get through the next couple of months uh, and wait and see how things are going to go. I um, I actually got a little bit excited the other day because I, with this is going to sound really weird, um, but with the uh, current like crisis, with the recession that everyone thinks is going to be coming in the next like um couple of months if not um in the next six months or whatever um then hopefully um with because it's gonna sound really horrible i don't mean it like this but um with everything like collapsing then hopefully the house like the market in house prices will come down so i will be able to buy my first property which is um which would be amazing um but then i read somewhere earlier that because of the current situation they're saying that you can't the banks basically won't lend you as much money so at the moment like i could probably get away with putting down 10 percent mortgage whereas in the crisis when it all sort of kicks off properly it's um in the recession you're going to need a lot more money than 10 percent. so i was a little bit gutted about that but we've just got to wait and see no one really knows what's going to happen but um yeah i would love to get on the property ladder in the next year or so but it's really really hard especially when you're self-employed it's like um I think, let me know, because I've been toying around with the idea of sort of like making different videos about sort of incomes for artists and how to earn money in art and things like that, but um, it's it's not, I've got no problem with sharing uh, stuff like that and information like that because I think it will be very useful to some people, um, but it's, I just want to make sure that I'm doing it in the right way and not sort of like missing anything or want it to be really well researched and things like that and at the moment I, I just haven't really had an awful lot of time to create that much content for um, YouTube hence why I'm sort of just um, filming sort of real time draw with me's because uh, like I think the trouble that I've got at the moment is trying to balance my workload between the videos that I put on Patreon which is obviously more tutorials type stuff um, and the videos on here which are more sort of like freestyle and just sort of like my more casual um, videos but yeah if you've got any like video ideas that you want to see as always just let me know if there's anything you want to like if you want to I'll be part of the Q&A which hopefully I'll film very soon and pop over to Instagram. I'll link it below if you don't follow me already but um yeah and then we can you know, hopefully get to know me a little bit better that way.
yeah, I'm finding it quite hard to like draw and talk on this one because as I said, it's taken a lot of my a lot of my concentration to get this um, stag going exactly how I want him. I've been working, I don't, I can't remember what I said on here because I've just filmed a Patreon video but um, I've just finished a commission, like the commission I was working on on the horse that you probably saw me drawing in last week and last week's draw with me um, or the week before, I can't remember when it was but yeah, I finished him this morning so which is really nice um, so hopefully he will get approval and um, he can get sent off he is going over to America um, for his owner who has had him a significant number of years which is very it's always really really nice to get commissioned for a horse that someone has had for so many years like honestly um because they are such a massive part of people's lives especially after that long i think she's only for like 16 possibly more than 16 years um oh more than that i think it's only i can't remember off the top of my head um she sent me a lovely email all about him and what they've been up to over the years together which was obviously really nice to get some background information it's not often I get actually get to have background information like that I've absolutely also, um, I just wanted to say to everyone who shares these videos onto Facebook and lets me know that you're watching them, um, thank you for doing that, it really means a lot to me that you find them so helpful and useful um, and that you really enjoy them, um, yeah so feel free to keep tagging me on Facebook, uh, on Facebook or on Instagram and let me know you're watching them because it means a lot to me and it makes it, me feel like I'm sort of, I'm not just like rambling to the camera like you actually um, enjoy watching me so yeah I thought it was a really nice thing that, that quite a lot of you are doing that was tagging me on Instagram when you're watching these videos and obviously um means that I can I sort of put reshare them and put them on my stories and yeah it's really nice This is so much about more about drawing shapes than is anything else. Um. I've just um, filmed a video over on Patreon about how I create sort of like the softness and the fur and things like that, but it's um this is very intense. intense because I, I feel like I'm learning so much of this piece which is amazing I love learning and I love sort of like bettering myself but it's ever slightly challenging I feel like I don't really know what I'm doing half the time I'm 
to like erase different bits as I go because I don't want to put too much like pigment down. He's going to be, um, I think that's a bit, this, I, I only really like to do like one or two really large format drawings like a year because the first of all I don't really have time to do them and second of all they do take it out of me. Um, I've actually got a commission which is massive, um, same size as this, slightly bigger actually, um, which I've got to start in the next couple of days now I finish Dino, um, but I'm also going to be, but that's, uh, sorry that one's like a secret one, I can't share that one, um, so I'm also going to be working on one that I can share at the same time so I can keep putting content online. Um, so that is going to be, it's a golden Labrador and she is called Holly. Uh, she's a very sweet girl. She actually belongs to a friend of my mum's um, and the, the woman owned her for all her life and sadly Holly got put to sleep probably towards the end of last year now. So um, she was very old but she was very well loved so um, I think that piece is going to be super special so to really really do Holly justice in that one. I finally got um, all of the bumblebee prints packaged up and sent out. I think it was we the last lot went last Thursday. Um, so all the small ones, or all the medium sized ones, are now completely sold out, which is incredible. And there's, there's still a couple of large ones left, but um, it's been a whirlwind of a week. It really, really has. Um, I think I was super exhausted over the weekend, um, just from like the sheer mass of. Um, comments and just love that you all show for the bumblebees people packets, like tagging me on instagram and facebook sending me emails saying you know the packaging and things like that and it's it's just been lovely to um be part of that and um, to have a product that's been so well received is absolutely phenomenal so um yeah a massive thank you to everyone who has ordered bumblebee print in the last like couple of weeks because it's been a really trying time for a lot of businesses um mine included um because obviously even though um my main like my main thing with, with this business is commissions um it was obviously uh, prints are still a massive part of what I do um, and I really take pride on the packaging and things like that and so to get something that's that's really well loved is, is truly really really nice. One thing I always do, and I, I really regret, I need to stop doing it as much when, especially on a piece like this, is I work in too small a section. I really should have filled in all of this, then we're working it all at the same time. But um, I'm just not that. I always forget, and then I regret it because that means you know, I, I think I make things like a little bit harder for myself because I have to try and like piece together. It's a bit like a jigsaw puzzle to keep, blend everything together.
I feel like I'm talking to you guys a lot today, I'm sorry, but this is honestly, it takes so much of my concentration. I generally feel like I've done a workout after I've finished drawing this tag, which I know sounds a bit weird, but it's true, it's just like super exhausting um, for some reason, so yeah. But sometimes in a way I guess it's nice to just put the camera on and let it roll and then, you know, I can just talk to you as I come up with different sort of things that come into my head whilst I draw. Right, I think I'm probably just going to leave it there because I feel like I really do need to try and concentrate it dead on what I'm doing at the moment. I'm finding it quite hard to do that whilst sort of being quite cautious and conscious that I need to be sort of chatting to you guys. So um, yeah, I think uh, I'm going to try and just crack on with this for the rest of the afternoon. It is currently half four so I've got a couple more hours of daylight. Um, to try and get a bit more done on this piece and hopefully uh, I will be sharing some progress over on uh, Instagram and social media platforms in the next day or so so as I said I will be filming I'm going to try and film a QA and a so um, for YouTube I can kind of go into things in a lot more detail then so if you've got any questions feel free to DM me or just wait for me. I'll pop up a um, like a ask me anything on my stories so and I'll try and get that filmed in the next like week or whatever. Hopefully fingers crossed if things go to plan and things don't end up you know if my, basically as long as I don't have like a panic attack we'll be good. Um, I want just like a little anxious five minutes we'll be fine. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna go. But I hope you're doing really well. I hope you're staying safe. Um, I bet you're just so tired of hearing "stay safe." I mean, I'm tired of hearing it, and I rarely ever go out. It's just on TV everywhere, isn't it? On all the news and everything. It's just getting a bit ridiculous. But anyway, hope you are well, whatever you are in the world, and you are keeping busy, doing, being creative, staying productive, etc., etc. And I hope you've enjoyed this little like ramble catch up kind of thing. Um, you've kind of enjoyed watching me draw this um, bit of the stag. As I said, it's a little bit stressful, but we'll get there. We will get there with him. Everything will be fine. But um, yeah, for now, guys, I will see you in the next one. Lots of love. Bye.